off. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Britt. The name behind the camera is The Beard. The Beard. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how we make homemade brownies. Uh, this is the second take of this. So some stuff's already been done because I was recording and The Beard noticed that it wasn't recording. So, I'm going to show y'all, restart it and show you guys what I've already done. Luckily, I didn't get too far in the video. But this is what you'll need. An 8x8 pan that is sprayed. As you can see, we just sprayed it with the uh, cooking spray. You need one and a half cups of sugar. I've already got that in the bowl for you guys. Three fourths cup all-purpose flour. Again, I already have it in the bowl. Sorry about this, guys. Two thirds cup cocoa powder, sifted if lumpy. One half cup powdered sugar, sifted if lumpy. One half cup dark chocolate chips. I do not have dark chocolate chips, so I'm using the Jumbo Semi-Sweet Chocolate Baking Chips. Three fourths teaspoon sea salt. Two large eggs. One half cup canola oil or extra, vir extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons of water and one half teaspoon of vanilla. And like I said, I already have my sugar, my regular white sugar, granulated sugar and flour in here. And now, it says, and by the way, you want an 8x8 pan. You do not want a 9x9 because it will overbake the brownies and they won't come out very well. And preheat your oven to 325 degrees. My oven is already preheated. So, you want to combine in a medium bowl your flour, white sugar, granulated sugar, cocoa powder, powdered sugar, chocolate chips, and salt. So, I've already got the sugar and the flour. The cocoa powder I'm going to sift, so this is the easiest way I found it needs two thirds? Yeah. Okay, so you just want to, this is how you sift it, it's super easy to do it better that way. And you see it gets all those lumps out. It makes life so much easier to do it that way. And then I will do the same exact thing with the powdered sugar. And that's just going to give you a nice, smooth, even texture. And sorry guys, my recipe is on my phone. I don't know this one by heart, so that's how I'm doing that. One half cup powdered sugar. So, Your phone made noise. I see that. <laughs> I've heard that. Okay, so you want to combine your sugar, flour, cocoa powder, powdered sugar, chocolate chips, which you need one half cup of. So a little bit of extra won't hurt. Won't hurt. These are actually the jumbo, so I'm just gonna add this a little bit more. Okay. So there's that. Which part one? Three fourths teaspoons of sea salt. So I've got the sea salt here. One fourth, three fourths. So one, two. And I will leave all of this down below. So there's the three fourths teaspoon. Okay. Now in a separate bowl, whisk together the eggs, olive oil, water, and vanilla. So I am going to have to put it in a bowl. Uh, in a separate bowl, mix together. Where am I at? Eggs. Two large eggs. One. Oh, I did not get any shot in. Good job. Olive oil. I have to wash my hands because I got egg on them. Okay. 
vanilla and water, two tablespoons of water, And yes, I'm measuring this for you guys. Normally I wouldn't, but for the purposes of this video, I will. Now it says, whisk this together, sprinkle the dry mix over the wet mix, and stir just until combined. So, shall we whiskey whiskey? What we should have done the opposite bowls, huh? Huh? So you probably should have done the opposite bowls, huh? Why? So sprinkling the dry over the wet. Well, it'll be okay. Pour yeah. the bat uh I'm just gonna do it this way. It'll just have to be okay because I didn't think about that. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Do what the directions say. And then you just want to mix until it's just combined. I'm just gonna get a spoon and do this because it's a lot easier. when you're done. Just until combined, you don't want to over mix it. Pour the batter into the pan. It'll be thick, that's okay. And use a spatula to smooth the top. Bake for 40 to 48 minutes or until a toothpick comes out with only a few crumbs attached. Cool completely before slicing. So now I'm just going to put my batter into my pan. the pan. Um, and now I'm going to set a timer and I will be back with you guys as soon as it's done. Okay guys, so you want this one or this one? That one. Okay, I want this one. Okay, now the beard's going to do a taste test. Now, let's see what it... Try this? Yeah, can, I, can I try it? Okay. Is it good? Yeah. Monster? Is it a monster approved? If it's monster approved, leave a thumbs up. Thumbs up, monster. Thumb. Number one. Yeah. If it's dust and approved, leave a thumb up. It's dust and approved. And it comes out really gooey and really delicious. And I will leave the Mommy. recipe down below. I'm yes, baby. Cooking. I'm getting ready to cook dinner right now, okay? Okay. Okay, go back downstairs. You do that, baby. Okay, in a minute. Good. So I need to finish this. Monster's starting to get attitude. But I like it. Okay. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment whether you're a center piece person or a middle piece person. Like it. Then edge or middle. That's what I'm trying to yeah, say. I don't know. Edge ed or middle. Edges are gross. I'm not really a big edge person, but monster, yeah. Monster can have that. I'm more of a center person. So is the beard. But if you enjoyed this, please leave it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.